Now let's first start off by taking a quick look at how a cash secured put works for those of you who aren't familiar with cash secured puts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using ticker symbol FB for today's video. Keep in mind that what I'm gonna show you guys is just an example here, so don't copy this exact same trade. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over to the options for uh, FB here, Meta Platforms, and we're gonna take a look at how a cash secured put here uh, would work very quickly. So firstly, we wanna go over to the puts here, and then we wanna go over to sell. Uh, because that's a cash secured put right there and then we want to choose an expiration date let's say we wanted to go further out just to collect more premium so what we could do is we could go out to let's say like may may 20th here to collect more premium so the way a cash secured put works is you're going to come in here you're basically going to determine what price What's the what's the most Facebook can drop that I believe Facebook will drop by May 20th? So let's say that I don't think Facebook will go under $220 by May 20th. What I could do then is I could go ahead and sell a put at that strike. So I would sell a put at the $220 strike. For selling this put, I'm going to collect a premium, about $1,750 right now. Uh, and I'm going to keep that premium no matter what happens. Now, for selling this put, you do have to put up collateral. You have to put up enough money to potentially buy 100 shares of the stock for $220 a share. And the way this works is that on the expiration on May 20th, if Facebook is at $220 or above, this will expire worthless. So again, you keep the premium, you get the money you put up back, and you can continue to sell puts. However, if on May 20th, uh, Facebook is under $220 per share, then you're gonna have to buy 100 shares of Facebook for $220 a share. But again, you still keep that premium. Okay, so that's how a cash secured put works very quickly. And let's take a look here to visually see what this looks like. We're gonna go over to option strat, and we can go to build here and we can go to cash secured put. So if you take a look here, we can go over to ticker symbol FB again. Again, we chose uh, our expiration as May 20th. We went further out just to, to collect more premium. We chose the 220 strike because we said, okay, on May 20th, the lowest I think Facebook will be is at 220. And then we went ahead and we sold that put. So again, we got a credit, a premium for this over $1,700. Uh, and then we, it tells us the collateral, we would have put up $22,000 again, because in, you know, in the case that we have to buy 100 shares for $220 per share, here's our max loss if Facebook were to go to zero, and then our max profit, $1,700, and then our break even. So this is what it looks like here. And just by taking a look at this, we can already see what the big problem with a cash secured put is. The big problem here is that our max profit is limited to the credit that we're receiving, right? We're receiving $1,700. That's also our max profit. That's the most we can make. So the problem here is that if on May 20th, Facebook has jumped up, let's say, you know, for whatever reason, the market recovers or Facebook comes out with good news or whatever. Let's say Facebook has jumped up to 290 by May 20th. Guess what? You're still only gonna make $1,700. So ultimately, whether Facebook is at you know 230 on the expiration date, or if it's at 290 on the expiration date, you're gonna make the same amount of money. And we don't really like that, right? And people, this is why people don't sell cash secured puts because they're scared that instead of you know selling the put and thinking the stock's not gonna move much, the stock explodes, and then they regret just not buying the shares to begin with, right? That's the big problem with cash secured puts. So what if we could continue to sell our cash secured puts, collect our weekly premium, monthly premium, whatever expiration date you're using, but without having to worry about the stock potentially exploding? right and so you know losing out on potential gains uh and us again later being upset that we should have just bought the shares instead of selling a put so we can do that and that's what i'm going to show you guys here in today's video so let's go back here and we're going to again compare it now to this strategy that i'm going to show you so let's go back to facebook here so again remember two very important things before you ever get into the options first one is commission fees especially on this one you are opening and closing multiple contracts if you're doing this every single week and your broker has high commission fees, that could eat away at a lot of your profit. Now, Robinhood doesn't have any commission fees, so we don't have to worry about it on here. 
Second thing is uh, early assignment, okay? Because we are gonna be selling options. Anytime you sell options, there is risk of assignment. We want to avoid being early assigned due to the X dividend of the stock. So we should always check, does the stock have a dividend? If it does, when is the X dividend? We don't wanna sell options that expire on the week of the X dividend date. If we do, we wanna close out two days before. So remember, we can always go over to nasdaq.com and we can search for whatever ticker symbol you're using. Facebook doesn't have a dividend, but let's say I was using ticker symbol F instead, which is Ford. I would go and search for Ford here, click on this, and then on the left, click on dividend history. This will tell me all the information that I need to know about the dividend uh, for Ford, including the X dividend date. So the X dividend date for Ford was January 28th. So it actually just passed. So I'd be okay to you, you know, to use this strategy on this stock for the next couple of weeks, next couple of months. So anyways, once you've checked those two things, you can go back on here and go into the options for the stock now. So let's take a look here. So again, very similar thing here. We're still gonna go ahead and sell a put. So I'm gonna switch over to puts here. I'm gonna switch over to sell. And then I'm actually gonna choose the exact same expiration I chose for the uh, cash secured put I just showed you guys. So let's go over to May 20th. Let's go further out just again to collect more premium here. So a very similar thing here, right? You, you kind of wanna uh, try to determine uh, what's the lowest you believe this stock will drop down to by your expiration. So again, let's say that by May 20th, the lowest I think Facebook will be is 220. So I would go ahead and choose that strike there to sell my put. Uh, so I would go ahead and sell a put right here. Again, getting 17 over $1,700. Again, having to put up collateral, enough collateral to potentially purchase 100 shares of the stock at 220. So I'd have to put up $22,000 in collateral. But again, the problem with doing, with doing just this, right, is that uh, again, our, our profit is capped. If you know on May twentieth, Facebook is at two ninety, we potentially lost out on a lot of gains. We would have been better off just buying the stock right now and holding it, or buying a call. But here's what we can do. So keep in mind that, like I mentioned, when you sell this put, you receive a premium, right? You receive a credit right now about one thousand seven hundred and twenty-three dollars in credit. So what we can do here is we can use some of this credit, some of this premium that we are receiving to enter another play. And ultimately this other play will allow us to still continue to make money if Facebook does rise. Instead of our profit being capped, this extra play will allow us to continue to make money no matter how far up Facebook goes here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to calls now and I'm gonna switch over to buy. We're gonna buy a call here, same expiration date here, with a higher strike than the strike of the put you're selling, and it should cost less than the premium you're getting. Because ultimately, you still wanna enter this for a credit, for a premium. You still wanna be collecting premiums here, but ultimately, you're gonna use a little bit of this premium to enter this play. And basically, what that means is that you're not risking any more money of your own, right? You're, you're, you're using some of the premium that you're getting, but you're not risking any more of your actual own money here. So let's take a look here at potential call that we could buy here. So let's say I wanna buy the call at the $250 strike, right? So this has a higher strike than the put that I'm selling. It costs less than the credit I'm getting, so I'm still gonna be able to enter this for a credit. So I'd go ahead and buy this call here, same expiration as the put that I'm selling. So now, once I've done this, as you can see, I'm still gonna get in for a credit over $800, which is nice. We'll st we're still gonna be getting a credit. We wanna do that. But now, as we will see, there is no longer gonna be any cap on our profit. We'll be able to compare here how much we would make uh, doing this versus not doing this and just selling the cash secured put here. We usually take a look at what this strategy looks like and we can compare it to just selling a regular cash secured put. So I'm gonna go to build now and I'm still gonna go over to cash secured put. Again, we chose ticker symbol FB for this video. So let's go to FB. We chose our expiration date as May 20th. Keep in mind, you don't have to go out that far. I just did that so that we could collect more premium. Uh, and we're selling a put at the $220 strike because we think that's the lowest that it will drop down to by May 20th. So we sold a put at 220 here. And then we said, okay, we're getting pretty nice premium here over $1,700. What if we use some of this premium, not any of our own money, but some of this premium that we're getting to enter another play. 
And so what we did is we bought a call, higher strike, and that costs less uh, than the credit that we're receiving. So we went to the $250 strike like that. And so now, again, we're still getting a credit, but right off the bat, as you can see, our max profit is now infinite. So we're still getting a decent premium, but our max profit now is unlimited. And let's actually compare it here uh, to the cash secured put that we uh, that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. So let's go over to the cash secured put. Let me just refresh this here very quickly. So again, remember over here, if this goes to 290 uh, by May 20th, guess what? You're still only making the credit you received, right? $1,753. Now, by using the strategy I'm showing you, if on May 20th, Facebook goes all the way up to $290, guess what? Now we're gonna leave with $4,825. So you just made over $3,000 more by doing this than if you would have just sold your cash secured put. And again, this is something that a lot of people always get worried about, and this is a, lot, this is a big reason why a lot of people don't sell cash secured puts because they're worried that you know if they sell a put, the stock might just explode. Yes, they'll make money still, but they'll lose out on a ton of potential gains. And so a lot of the time, people will just buy the stock right there and then, uh, and then the stock actually drops and you could have benefited from selling a put instead. But with this strategy now, you can benefit both ways, right? You can still get a, pre a premium, a credit, potentially purchase the stock at a cheaper price, but if the stock does explode to the upside, now you don't have to worry about that because again, with this strategy, you'll continue to, can, uh, to make money no matter how high the stock goes up, right? So if for whatever reason it exploded a ton, you know, as you can see, like let's say it goes up to 330 by the 20th, well now you'd make almost $9,000, right? Over here, if you just sold a cash secured put and it goes up to 330, well, guess what? You're still only making $1,753. So this is a very powerful strategy to use when you want to sell a put on a stock, but you're very worried that the stock could potentially explode uh, and you don't want to lose out on those gains. Use this strategy instead right here. Again, the con is that you'll get a little bit less premium, right? We're not getting as much premium as if you were just selling the cash secured put. But now if the stock explodes to the upside for no matter what reason, uh, we're going to be able to make a ton more money potentially, depending on how high it goes. Now, um, the other thing I want to show you guys here, of course, is changes in implied volatility and how that affects uh, this strategy. So remember, always check what IV does to the strategy. So here, if IV starts to go down, here's what it starts to look like. If IV starts to go up, this is what it starts to look like here. Okay, so not a dramatic change on this one, as you can see. Uh, nothing too too huge, too uh, wild, but uh, of course there are some different changes here, right? As you can see, sliding this up and down, but I'll just reset that. So always take a look here at what IV does uh, to your, you know, whatever particular strategy you're using. So anyways, guys, this is how you solve the big problem with cash secured puts. No longer having a cap on our profit. If the stock continues to rise, we'll continue to make money. If not, we're still generating premiums by selling our put here, potentially buying the stock at a cheaper price. So anyways, if you guys have any questions about anything I just talked about, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Check out the Discord, link to it in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time.